First question, second row on the aisle. Kyrie, in the last four games, you got your best performance tonight. Is it because you were, sorry, is it because you were faced with much more pressure, which kind of stimulated you? Uh, well, um, the magnitude of the games, um, especially last game, um, you know, it uh, hit me in a, a very deep place. Just, you know, you want to play extremely well, and you understand that it's a do-or-die game in game three, then, um, you know, you hear some chatter going on throughout, uh, you know, the Warriors locker room in terms of them trying to, you know, end it here. And, um, you know, it was another do or die game for us and we had to leave it all out there. Um, you know, I was quoted in saying that there was no other option and that was completely true. And uh, that still stands. Um, you know, we still have to go up there game five, which is going to be unbelievable. Unbelievable atmosphere. We know they're going to come out with a hit first mentality, but we got to hit them first and, um, you know, Relish in the challenge and, um, you know, welcome all, uh, all challenges that we'll be faced with throughout the game. But, um, you know, glad that we got the monkey off our back in terms of just getting one win in this series in terms of going against this great team. But, uh, you know, you don't want to ever take it for granted. Um, you know, we'll watch film and see where we can get better. Kenny, standing on the right. Kenny, Kenny wrote a WHBC, 49 points in the first quarter, a record. I was at ice bath, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I just got out of it again. I apologize to all you guys, but yeah, go ahead. 49 in the first quarter. Yeah. What was it about tonight's first quarter that was so different from the previous three? Uh, well, we, uh, we slowed the game down within, uh, within the realms of the way we were playing, um, but it was still high tempo. We got to the free throw line. We got in the bonus early, and then we got some, uh, some easy free throws and some easy ones, and then... Uh, you include that with our pace. Uh, it was hard for them to keep up with us tonight. Um, you know, it's the first time all series, but um, you know, we just kept attacking, kept attacking, and understood, uh, you know, that they were never going to quit. Um, you know, KD was just unbelievable again tonight, um, and as well as uh, you know some of their other guys. But we just try to limit them and make them feel uncomfortable. Um, you know, force them into some tough shots, and then. Uh, you know, push and transition. Then, one thing that was uh, important for our, you know, success tonight was just our limit of turnovers. And uh, you know, when we don't turn the ball over and we don't give them fast breaks, then uh, it allows us to set up our half court defense and everyone get matched up. So, um, you know, we took some steps in the right direction, um, but we definitely took some uh, things that we did correctly in Game Three, carried over to Game Four. And we've talked about this before: adversity. You guys in adversity. Doesn't get much more adverse than basically having to win four game sevens. Well, why do you guys thrive on that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had a, a true answer for that. But uh, every game is do or die, and we understand that. And uh, you know, we're ready to live in it. And uh, it was uh, great to see, you know, Kyle as well as Darren as well as T Top just throw themselves in tonight's game and understand the importance of it. And, uh, you know, this is the finals, man. Um, you know, a minute here, four minutes here, rebound here, maybe a tech or two here, it matters. And, uh, you know, they brought it tonight. And I'm super proud of those guys, of, of all my teammates, but more or less those guys coming in and just giving us energy as well as RJ coming in and playing huge. Um, and then everybody just, just collectively coming together, um, you know, so it was good. Third row. Dan Feldman, NBC Sports. You mentioned the chatter coming from the Warriors. Was there anything that was said that uh, particularly rubbed you the wrong way? I mean, all of it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's part of the game. I understand that. But, um, you know, we knew what we were faced with. That was what it was. But then you add, of course, uh, you know, some chatter in there. And, you know, that adds some extra motivation. You give us a day in between. And, uh you know, we were ready to come out, especially me, because that uh, that taste wouldn't have been the same if we would have lost tonight and they would have celebrated on our home floor. So, um, you know, I'll just leave that at that. Is, is that something that you took individually personally or something you guys were talking about amongst yourselves as a team? I mean, we're in the finals if, you know, everything is accessible. You know, social media is everywhere. So, I mean, social media is just, it raises the bar, especially the uh, attention uh, that goes on with it. So we see everything. You know, I'd be sitting up here lying if I didn't say it. I didn't see it. But 
um, we, I relish in that challenge. I know my teammates do as well. So, um, you know, it's been going back and forth all season, and now we're in the finals, and everything is just pinpointed. But uh, definitely heard the chatter. Next row back. Kyrie Spencer Davies, Basketball Insiders. Just you had an excellent game three, but you went 0 for 6 from three. 0 for and 7. Then, oh, 0 for 7. Okay, 0 for excuse 7. me. Yep. Um, and then tonight you hit seven of them. Just the sense of relief for you and just even the team just to knock down 24 threes knowing that you guys are capable of hitting all those. Uh, shot some tough ones, excuse me, um, and happily they went in. But, uh, you know, other guys just came in and, you know, Kev and, and JR, Bron, <laughs> as well as Shump and, and Darren and Kyle. I mean, you know, when we're hitting threes, we're a different team, and we understand that. But when we take the threes that are in rhythm and we're getting guys to their spots and uh, we're unselfish as we were tonight, then uh, our three-pointer is a little bit different, and it makes the difference, so. And then uh, just going back to that first quarter, just the way you guys set the tone, Tristan, JR, all that, how can you ensure you bring that same kind of mentality into Golden State, even though you said yourself that it's going to be, there's no option, but still, just actually making it happen? Well, we finally settled in, man. It, it, was, uh, you know, it was about damn time um, you know, for all of us just to really see what playing well as a group looks like against a, a great team like the Warriors. You know, we understand who they have on, on you know, on their team and, um, you know, what they're about and, uh, you know, how established they are. But I think that in those three losses, we, we, uh, we lost track of who we were at the, at the same point. We're still a special team as well. I mean, we're here for a reason. We, we're going against a juggernaut of a team, but we're a juggernaut of a team too. We have some special pieces. And that belief has to not only just be in from an individual, it has to come collectively. So, you know, getting one tonight uh, was a step in the right direction. Phil and Dan, last two. Right in front of you, Kyrie. Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Uh, three to one deficit, heading back to Oakland. Do you have the Warriors right where you want them now? No. <laughs> no. Uh, we understand how special that team is down there. So we don't knock them off of, of uh, taking one loss or, you know, us getting one win. Uh, so we have to be even more locked in, even more focused. But... If we come with the same mentality that we came with tonight, we'll be in a better position in Oakland. Dan, last question, back right. Uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Kyrie, they get it down to 11 in the fourth quarter, uh, about eight and a half minutes left. And you respond with a couple of shots, you know, three-pointer and then a floater right there, kind of push it back. Later in the, in the game, you know, you hit the big three to push the lead over 20, kind of closing the door on them. Was that something that you sort of, uh, you look to yourself to take some pride in, like, I'm going to be the one closing the door here, I'm going to be the one sending it back? Well. Uh, I, our head coach did a, you know, Tilo, he did a great job of, of uh, my minutes tonight, which, uh, you know, really helped going in the fourth quarter in terms of how I felt, uh, you know, and the way he played me and Bron off one another in terms of when we came out. Um, it worked, you know, give me two minutes before the first quarter ended, and then in two minutes before the third quarter ended, I had my legs underneath me, and then I understood that, uh, you know, instead of being on the opposite end of keeping it within striking distance, we wanted to keep the lead just to create that separation. Um, and, you know, you look at game three in those last uh, probably four minutes, 30 seconds, there were some opportunities that I didn't take advantage of for us to to just propel us to that win. And, um, you know, that stuck with me and it definitely uh, put a conscious effort to make sure that I stayed aggressive, especially in that fourth quarter down the stretch. And, we had that separation in order for us to feel comfortable and then, uh, you know, get the win. Thank you. I guess.